Hey everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a plan with me and now this is something that if you have watched my channel before, I used to do these once a week and it was kind of like the mainstay of my channel, if you will. It was the thing that I would do consistently and then I had kind of a mind switch and I decided to try something different and also I felt like Doing a plan with me every week was holding me back from creating other content. So I decided to bring them back at least once a month if I can. And you'll see me plan in my Erin Condren for this video as well as my Happy Planner. So um, if you have seen my previous videos, I will link one of the last plan with me's I have created. I think it was a couple months ago now that I stopped, but I will link a video just so you can kind of see the comparison between how I plan now and what I did before. And basically the biggest difference is I'm really more of a functional planner now as opposed to more of a decorative. And I really used to enjoy planning in my Erin Condren every week, but again, it was very time consuming and I have since switched the location of my desk and it is located in my living room so it's very difficult for me to um, you know just pick up uh, and start talking and doing a plan with me um, pretty much any time of the day because my daughter is always around and she is very loud hence the reason for the voiceover for this particular video so uh, what I've done in this kind of um, productivity section of my Erin Condren is um, I needed extra room to write up my business stuff basically so the previous page I wrote um, important dates and things to do and goals that I have and then this page is like business things to do so anything relating to my business so it could be a YouTube video uh, uh, you know a blog idea it could be um, something to do with banking just anything like that and I figured it's nice to have the extra room so moving on to the actual week, I did decide to use the Simply Gilded kits. And now, um, again, I have done a few of these videos on my channel in the past. And uh, Simply Gilded, if you haven't checked out Simply Gilded, the website, um, Irene is the founder and creator of all of the products that you will see me use today. And she's such a lovely person. I don't know her personally. I just really like her products and she makes very beautiful washi tape. And that's actually what first drew me to um, actually using the product. I saw it on Cindy Guntard Baldo's channel and I'm going to link her channel as well just so you guys can check her out if you're interested. But um, her washi tape is just so beautiful. And so I was looking at her website and seeing what you know what she offered and I saw that she had a monthly subscription box and so usually what comes in the box is some large sticker sheets which you'll see me using and the smaller sticker sheets which include like the date dots and um, sometimes all of the icons and little uh, decorative stickers sometimes and this one was actually the last box that was released um, the, the one that I've currently have. I There is one on the way which is a tropical box but this one was called Natural Beauty and I believe it was the May release if I'm not mistaken and yeah it basically it's, it's really pretty it's like these beautiful blues and natural colors and florals and um, it's really pretty and the one thing Irene says is that these stickers can be used very sparingly over the whole course of a month and I actually prefer to use them up in a week or two and um, it's just kind of personal preference. I find to be quite honest with you it's extremely hard for me to use these to decorate. The only thing that I like about it is that it does have a one and all palette of color if you know what I mean. So you don't have to go searching for similar stickers that look the same in your collection. You just have them all sitting there in front of you. So for me, sometimes um, when I'm doing functional planning, I like to have larger box stickers so I can write down my notes and stuff. And this has some of the list type stickers, but I'm not a huge fan of those. And I think um, when I use the larger box size stickers, they just 
the area where I put the sticker seems to stand out more and maybe that's why I like it more and I just I feel like I don't have as much movement with these kits I don't have as much freedom and uh, that's why I really enjoy the the Christiane design sticker kits from Michaels because they offer a lot of different stickers in the same color palette that you can use and it just gives you a lot of freedom so anyway, here you can see that I'm filling in my work dates. So basically, I have changed my upload schedule. I do, um, on my main channel, I have two videos. I post Tuesday, Fridays, and I do Makeup Monday on my Sandra Doll Beauty channel, which is all about makeup, tutorials, and beauty. And also, if you guys are interested, I actually just released a perfume collection video it's like my entire collection and I have been wanting to do that video for months no scratch that for years so I'm going to link that to you just in case if you want to check it out so another thing that I have been doing recently which has really been helping my productivity is day theming so as you can see here I wrote down certain events that I would do throughout the week um, Monday is an edit day Tuesday is a shop day so it would either be designing stickers or fulfilling orders because I do have a sticker shop on my website. I'm just going to link my website here as well for you. It is www.sandradoll.ca. You can go ahead and check that out. I do have all the information linked down below in the description box as well. So if you missed it in the video, you can go ahead and check it out down below. So continuing on with my themes on Wednesday I write my blog and sometimes I write two blogs depending on how far behind I am Thursday is another edit day Friday is a catch-up day so basically I just do um, whatever I need to catch up on basically Saturday is a planning day and sometimes a shop or a sticker day depending again if I need to catch up and Sunday I really try to take it off and spend time with my family so you can see here that I'm using those list stickers I was telling you about and I'm trying to kind of variegate the colors to try to give it more visual appeal and this is kind of why you know, a sticker kit doesn't last me an entire month because I like to usually put stickers in every single day of the week and when it comes to functional planning a lot of people prefer to write down their notes first and then add stickers like little icons here or there but I already kind of know what my plan is for the week and going in with that thought in mind that's where I place my stickers so for instance in these boxes the top box is reserved for things that I already have kind of planned out ahead of time and so I'll put my blog schedule like every Monday I have a blog posting at 10 a.m. on my website and of course the video posting dates and then the second box is pretty much for the list of things I need to do that day and then the bottom box is for anything that I need to do at home so usually my schedule um, Monday is pretty much just kind of like a work day so I don't really do anything Monday except maybe grocery shop Tuesday is cleaning the bathrooms Wednesday is cleaning the floors Thursday is my budget day early dismissal day and taking out the garbage or recycle or whatever needs to be done and Friday is payday and so that's usually how I work my week and if you guys are curious I do have a Franken planned happy planner so in my Erin Condren again like I said my style has changed since I used to plan and I would pretty much lay out my entire week and you'll kind of see me do that here my Erin Condren acts more as a catch-all planner so I put everything from home my videos um, appointments if I have any anything like that and um, the happy planner is strictly for work and that's the one that you'll see today so I'm pretty much finished here I'm just going to put in a couple of things I do so another thing that I like to do in addition to theming is also batching so when my husband is home off of work I'll do all of my filming and sometimes I can film up to six videos a day it sounds crazy but when the kids are asleep or in bed or at school <laughs> I have to take advantage of my time and then when he's at work for two weeks I do all of the admin details I do everything to do with my website um, all the editing stuff so um, it's a kind of a busy schedule for me and it's it's not a regular schedule that you know I'm used to but I have been doing this now for a couple of months and it seems to really been working so um, I'm really happy with it 
So in the left hand bar, you can see that I added next week. So anything that comes up for next week, I like to add it there as well as my meal plan. And um, then I'm just kind of putting in some details throughout the week just so I can remember because there's so much going on that I like to write it out ahead of time. And then when I get to it, then um, when that day comes and it is true, plans change, right? So there's some people who like to have it you know, you write it down and that's it. Or you don't write anything down and then you plan the day of. I like to have kind of an idea of how my week is going to go. So if things change, they change, no big deal. But I do like to write it out ahead of time. So here we are moving into my happy planner. And like I was saying before, this is my Franken planned happy planner. And I did do some adjustments. So I might do a video where I tell you guys how I've changed it. Um, I will be doing another happy planner for 2022. I have ordered three happy planners already and I'm waiting for the next bunch of happy planner releases until I figure out how I want my system to look. And, but for the most part, um, I have kind of a catch-all planner, which I'm not really think, I don't think it was working for me. I've got my business section, which is this one you'll see here. And I have a home section. Um, a business expense, a home expense, a journal, a reading planner, and a physical fitness planner, and also like a wellness planner. So I kind of think that the wellness and the fitness could probably be combined, but I liked the separate planner so much that I wanted to keep both of them separate. And because my planner was getting a little awkward, I also have the black covers on the front and the back. I ended up getting the gold expander discs for this planner because um, it just wasn't, it wasn't big enough. So now it's huge and I'm kind of regretting my decision because I can just fit more paper in it. So this kit that I'm using here is again from Simply Gilded. It is the Hummingbird Story or yeah, I think it's the Hummingbird Story Kit. And this one was released in April, I believe. And it's probably one of my favorites. I love the color story of the washi tape. I just, I fell in love with the washi tape from Simply Gilded. I know that I talk about it quite often in my plan with me's. And I think since I've got Simply Gilded washi tape, I've stopped using all of my regular washi tape, which is seriously a shame because I do have some really pretty ones. And I also actually have um, a video on my washi tape storage. It's not really my complete collection, but that's something I wouldn't mind kind of sharing with you guys. I do have my washi tape from Simply Gilded stored in a completely different area than the rest of my washi tapes, but... I'm probably going to do like a stationary organization video just to show you guys how I have all of my pens and my washi tape and stickers and all that. And it's huge. I had to upsize my desk. So <laughs> that's saying a little bit. So again, um, this planner again is a vertical planner and it's got three boxes. So how I like to organize this particular planner, because it revolves strictly around work, the top box is only for anything involving YouTube, the second box is for my website, and the bottom box is for other. So how I like to work it is, um, when it comes in terms of YouTube, will be my posting video dates, my editing schedule, and anything to do with YouTube. So say I had a thumbnail to take a, a picture of and then you know, make it look cute on my iPad. And then the website part would be uploading pictures to my website, would be updating my website, um, even making stickers because again, my sticker shop is part of my website and also my blog. So I do post a weekly blog every Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And lately I've been really talking about things in the YouTube world and how to improve, make things better, and I want to get back more into the planning and organization and um, I guess productivity bullet journaling kind of areas because those are the topic and focus of my own interests. I love all of those things. And I kind of veered away a bit because um, I wanted to see how people would be interested in the YouTube aspect of and, and also online business. And um, there's not a lot of takers. So I think I'm going to veer back to bullet journaling stuff. But um, anyway, so you'll find a lot of, a little bit of everything, I guess, on my blog. But I do like the, the 
to stick with the productivity planning organization aspect. And um, I do have, I think I started it November 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been up for a little bit. And um, it's some of the blogs posts are quite a bit longer than you'd expect. And some are quite a bit shorter. So it just depends. Um, getting back to this particular planner, again, you won't see it because I did edit a lot of the parts out, but I definitely struggled when it came to using these stickers to kind of create a really nice workflow for myself. Um, I really love using the Happy Planner stickers, and I, I don't really like to be all-inclusive. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to stick to one brand because I love Erin Condren, I love Simply Gilded, and I love Happy Planner, and there's tons of other sticker shops I love as well, but I really like having full boxes. It's just something that I've been really into lately. And um, before, when I had my old Happy Planner last year, I did have a horizontal. So learning how to plan in a horizontal and then going vertical is a little difficult to say the least. So I'm glad that I kind of figured out my style, kind of figured out where I wanted to go with it. So as you can see here, I'm taking these tiny hummingbird and book stickers and just placing them randomly. So again, getting back to the whole functional planning and decorative planning, I prefer to place my stickers, I write my notes, and then what I'll do is use the decorative boxes after as accents. And I do the same thing regardless of which sticker book I use. And I just find that it fits better with my style and um, especially my week because my week is truly all over the place and it differs from week to week. So this last thing I'm doing here is putting these really pretty sparkly overlays. Again, these stickers were, I think they were um, one of the surprises in the subscription boxes and I just figured it would give it a nice touch. So that is it for this plan with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. I would love to hear your thoughts. Just leave me a comment down below. If you are new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you. And click on that bell notification to be notified every time I upload a new video. And give this video a huge thumbs up as well. Until next time, bye.